Good morning to all dear students. So today we will start with the new block that is block 22. From math, from math roads to highway. So this is the topic of our discussion for today. Okay, so our aim for today is students will be able to explain the differences between traveling on a kacha roads and cement roads. Resources needed is two bicycle, worksheet S1, your exit content book, notebook, one toy car. And the keywords for today is cement, cutter road, mud path, and highways. Alright, I'm not going to explain, okay, uh, give you the meaning. I hope you know what is cement, okay. Alright, it is made for constructing materials, uh, constructing building and all, right? Kacha rod, which is not a plaster, plaster rod, okay, or black topping rod. And what is mud pot? I'm sure you have seen a mud pot, okay? And highway means, okay, the road that we see in the town. Alright, so how do you come to school? Question here is, how do you come to school? Would you have reached your school faster, slower, if the road on which you travel was different? How do you come to school and would you have reached your school faster, slower, if the road on, on which you travel was different? Okay, so let's see. Today... We will learn about how different types of road affect our travel. Alright, so today we will learn about how the different types of roads affect our travel. Alright, uh, all right, suppose, just a case, uh, suppose, okay, you are riding a bicycle. Alright, suppose you are riding a bicycle, okay? Alright, here's a picture of bicycle. Or if you don't know how to ride the bicycles, and then just uh, consider you are riding a toy car. Alright. You are supposed to uh, riding a bicycle or a toy car. Alright? To reach a particular point. So, imagine. One is... Uh, Okay, this is a starting point and this is an ending point, okay? Starting point, ending point. So this is Kacharot. Alright, consider this as Kacharot, okay? Kacharot. This is Kacharot. And consider this as Cement Path. Smooth. Smooth Cement Path, okay? So, you don't have to drive too far, okay? What you have to do is, from the starting point till the end. Starting point till the end. Imagine you are traveling on a bicycle in a kacha road. To and fro. You move till the end and then you start returning back. Even in a cement, cement path that is smooth, you also traveling from starting point to the end and from here from end you're returning to the starting point all right that is your experience okay riding a bicycle is that clear so who do you think can reach faster who can reach faster is it the one riding on a uh, smooth path or kacha path Kacha or mud path. Which one will ride faster? Is it smooth cement path or kacha or mud path? Who can reach faster? That is the question, okay? So, uh, do you think will it be easy or it will be difficult in order for you to ride on a kacha road or a cement smooth road and what was the mud uh, path like and what about the cement path 
what is the difference between riding on two different paths kaja road and um, cement and spud path okay so this is a difference between highway and mud road okay so highway they are smooth made of cement mud not smooth okay and then in mud hot you find lots of potholes all right and then in highway more vehicle and people can travel many vehicles cannot travel on mud road because it is small okay and highways there are connect uh, they connect more cities and town okay and then mud road they cannot connect many far away places and then the last point about mud road is it travels slow and then it is difficult uh, for travel okay all right so if you compare the highway and mud road you'll see that uh, it will take more time uh, to to reach your destination in mud road as compared to the highway all right the reason is because highway they are okay smooth they don't have much potholes whereas if you talk about mud road it has lots of potholes the road condition is very worse uh, it it takes time to travel it, it travels slow okay and difficult to travel as well all right because lots of jerking right as you travel along the mud road all right another question is what problems could or would a person have while traveling on a mud road mud path and what about the cement path what problems would a person have while traveling on a mud path or what about the cement path which will be faster and why and how do cement rod roads help people all right so um, see riding on a mud path becomes more difficult all right as compared to riding on a cement path because the mud part will be rough and bumpy as the surface is uneven as the surface is not uh, in a proper shape okay all right there are lots of pot potholes all right i hope you know what is potholes okay means lots of all right those are potholes okay and then the cement part will be faster and it is easier as it is smoother all right with more cement on or concrete road more vehicle can use the road all right more people can travel and travel can be faster as compared to all right uh kacha road or mud road okay many big concrete road in india they connect cities and even states these roads are called highways all right because of that we have national highways state highways right which are made of concrete rod, which are made of cement rod, which are made of black top, right? The last question. What is difficult about traveling on highways as compared to traveling on mud roads? So even though the um, highways or the cement road has, has got lots of advantage, okay? What are some of the uh, difficulties that we face while traveling on highways as we compare to that of traveling on mud roads okay so it is very simple see when you talk about highways okay there is traffic jams yes or no you go to kohima town okay uh, you travel on a road uh, highway you'll see the lots of traffic jam and there are also road accidents all right because uh, the roads become very smooth so people take advantage and they travel uh, they drive the car very fast okay because of that you find lots of uh, accident all right road accident are very common problems that you'll see in highway you go down to dimapur okay dimapur highways you'll see that every now and then there is lots of accident okay 
unlike the mud roads because uh, in mud road people they don't travel or they don't drive the car uh, very fast and also there is also less vehicles in mud road as compared to the uh, cement road or all right uh, um, blacktop road or highways okay so that is the problems that the highway they face okay so for today you have to complete your practice question number four practice question number four how have highways helped our travels and then you have to complete your worksheet as one all right so first you have to observe the given picture and then you have to indicate here in the given space and how is traveling in picture a different from picture b what a, what right what about a problem that cement road have and mud road don't all right so that is your work for today take care and have a good day